Hello, welcome to another Informatica video tutorial. My name is Fernando Guerrero. I am a Cloud Solution Specialist. And today we are going to talk about the Informatica Data Integration REST API, specifically about the task call. So what are we going to see in this video? Well, first we are going to explain what you can do with this API. We will have a little demo and then I will share a link for documentation about this specific API. So the first thing that you are wondering is like, what can we do with the Informatica Task REST API? So this one is gonna help you to list all the tasks that you have in your organization that are, simi that are similar to one specific uh, task type. So basically when you call this API, you need to specify which uh, task type you want to see. And it's going to display all the tasks that you have in your organization, regardless of uh, who created the task. Uh, and this is good for to verify, uh, for example, when you have uh, different environments and you want to know if you already migrated one task to another environment, you can do programmatically call and then do a search to see if uh, you have the task in the other environment. Uh, now, one thing that you have to keep in mind, when you run this API in the response, you are going to see a task ID. Don't get confused. Don't confuse this task ID with the federate task ID. The federate task ID is the ID that you need when you want to run a task. Okay, there is a uh, the, we have APIs to call to run task, and they request uh, a task ID. So you need the federate task ID. If you want to get the federate task ID, there is another call the lookup call. That one will give you the uh, the federate task ID. So yeah, so the the, the ID that you get with the, this call the task. Uh, call is not the federate ID. That's something that you have to keep in mind. Uh, and now we will proceed to, to do a little, little demo. So now we are going to see here how to call the API. Um, the first thing that you will see in the documentation is uh, usually the documentation only shows you uh, this part of the URL uh, for this task. So you can remember that before that one, you need to use uh, the URL that is in your login page when you have access to your Informatica Cloud. Uh, it's going to be different depending on where you are in your organization. And just add this path, OK? So this is what you will see in the documentation. And you know that you will have to add all this. Uh, you need to log in first. You need to use the uh, version 2 login. Uh, that one is going to give you the IC session ID. Uh, and then you get it from there and you put you need to put it here in your, in your headers this one is a content type accept uh, application xml so just just keep that in in mind where you are using this this api call so yeah so basically here you you need to you need to write task type and then data type in the documentation that uh, that i will share you will see what are the different uh types that you can uh, specify for here here you as an example i use these random letters and i did send and obviously that is telling telling me that this is not a valid data task uh, but let's going to use for example uh replication task uh, so for replication task we have drs and it's going to search in my organization how many tasks we have like with this type here we don't have any response, so that means that we don't have any uh, replication task in our organization. Uh, let me search for another one. This will be a power center task. It will be PCS. And we have two like that in, in our organization. Uh, let me search for another one. That will be a mapping task. Oh. So here, so before going to mapping tasks, you see uh, you get uh, the ID that, that was I, I told you before. Don't get confused uh, with this ID and the federate ID. Uh, this ID is only for this task, uh, but when you want to run task, you need the federate task ID. There is there is another um, API call called lookup that will give you the federate uh, task ID. Okay, so here it's just giving you the names of the task uh, and who created and, and when was created uh, and also when was updated. That's the information that you get to this. But let me search now for mapping task. Okay. 
So yeah, see, we, here we have a, a lot of them and you can see here, this list is really long. Um, the information here is gonna be blurry because I have to uh, protect the, the user's email. So I am gonna blurry when I am uh, scrolling down, but this is just to give you that it's a long, to show you it's a long list of mapping tasks that we have in this organization. So yeah, if you want to know if you already migrated um, one task from one environment to another environment, you can call this API and quickly search for the name of the task that you that you want. That will be a, a use for this for this task. If you want to know more about the task um, API call, you can visit the documentation. Here I am posting the, the link to the documentation. And besides just this API call, uh, you will be able to see more uh, API calls from Informatica. And the information from one API call could be the foundation for another one. So you can mix and match API call calls in order to achieve what you want. We will appreciate your feedback. Um, you can send us an email or you can post uh, in our social uh, networks and give us, give us your opinion about uh, these videos. Thank you very much.